a good portfolio should really tell people who you are. It may be a visual or digital representation of your work. You can also say it's a place where you show people what you are about or what you are interested in. In your portfolio, you can show video, audio, you can show drawings, paintings or even sculpture. Basically, it should be something you are proud to show off to the world because it speaks much about you. Having a good portfolio gives you the opportunity to see how far you've grown as a graphic designer, filmmaker or a sound artist and so on. So you can really see and say, okay, I started off here and here is how it's going. Your portfolio should be able to show how you can add value to potential clients and how you can solve their problems. Look at this in this perspective. The reason why clients come to you is because they have a problem and they want to hire you to give a solution to their problems. So you need to see yourself as a problem solver because clients don't want to hire anyone that can't solve their problems. So your portfolio should obviously show that you can solve their problems. So now what can we do to show or demonstrate that we can solve problems with our portfolio? Any project you are putting out on your portfolio, ensure you highlight the problems the clients had. If you are a UI UX designer, it can be maybe a brand website was outdated and needed a redesign. Show off the ideas and the steps you took all through the design process. Sometimes it's good to explain the challenges you had during the design process. Sometimes it's good to use industry related terms to show how professional you are and how competent you are. Ensure you understand your target audience. Know the kind of people you want to showcase your work to and sell yourself to. Is it small businesses like startups or large scale businesses? Is it schools or people in the entertainment industry? Just understand and know your target audience cause it will help you set up your portfolio in such a way that it will be able to connect with the people that need your services. Also, look out for an easy to navigate kind of portfolio, something that can attract your viewers in just few seconds and it's easily scannable. It should be something someone can just go through it easily and get what they want. Your about page in your portfolio should be straight to the point and it should speak more about your strengths, tools you use and projects that matches your area of expertise. Of course, it should be projects you enjoy working on. Ensure you showcase few projects that can explain who you are instead of putting out too many projects that can be confusing. Always remember that less is more and embrace simplicity. And then don't include outdated work on your portfolio. Ensure you have a contact page on your portfolio so you can easily convey clicks to clients. Make your area of expertise very obvious so clients can state exactly who you are. And really quick, your portfolio is not a place to show off. It should be a place to showcase value because value is king. It should be a place to show and demonstrate how much you can solve problems. For designers who can't create a portfolio site, I recommend Behance because it's a great place to start. In our next video, I'm going to walk you through the process on how to create a portfolio with Behance. So subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload the video. Thank you so much for watching. Click on the video on your screen and learn more about design. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.